Hello, my name is Ankit Samani. I'm a software developer engineer at Amazon and working in the delivery technology organization in Last Mile. This talk is about Rapid Design System. In this short video, I'll talk about what's the Last Mile transporter experience, how does the Last Mile tech enable transporters to deliver these packages, what are the challenges in building these experiences, and finally, we will talk about how the Rapid Design System helps in building these experiences. To give you an overview, here is a high-level view of our transportation network. First Mile is responsible for picking up the packages and injecting them into the network. Last Mile is responsible for final delivery leg of the customer. And Middle Mile is everything in between, which involves package sortation and air and freight movements. Last Mile owns everything about the final delivery leg, including all the software to support logistics for a number of businesses. This talk is focused on the last mile transporter experience. Now let's understand what is the last mile transporter experience. Let's take an example of a transporter. As you can see in this diagram, the transporter journey starts under the roof at the delivery station where they are responsible for check-in. After check-in, they check their vehicle and pick up the packages. After picking up all the packages and loading them into the van, they start delivery on the road. For each delivery, they navigate to a stop, find the packages, and leave the van. Then they carry the package to the door and deliver the package at the customer address. After delivering the package, they return back to the van and repeat the same process for each stop. Transporters have many responsibilities during this process. They need to perform operations like check their vehicles and check in. They need to perform pickups like customer returns, store or locker pickup. They also need to perform multiple types of deliveries like doorstep delivery, garage delivery, or locker delivery. Apart from these, these transporters are also responsible for performing additional services like age-verified deliveries, exchanges, cash-on delivery, KYC the doorstep, which is know your customer, and sometimes remove packaging from the customer's garage. To assist the transporter with this process, they use the application built by Last Mile called Amazon Flex or internal name Rabbit. This application help them in navigation and stay organized on the route. The Rabbit handles scanning, inventory, and step-by-step -step directions, enabling transporters to do all the work effectively right from the check-in process, deliveries, and even help them come back to the station. During this process, these transporters interact with the itinerary in the app. For each stop in an itinerary, it contains the information about the delivery and a type of delivery. For example, if this delivery is a special delivery like a locker or garage, etc. They also have a maps and navigation that helps them in navigation to a next stop on an itinerary and help with the driving directions on the road. Finally, they see a package info that helps in locating the package quickly from the van. There are many more components, but these are the ones that transporters interact on the daily basis. There are more than 50 plus types of workflow that exist in the app. And this app takes any guesswork out of the transporter. We have multiple teams that are building these experiences like onboarding, check-in, pickup, and delivery to name a few. Now let's understand how these workflows are built internally. We use an internal architecture of a state machines and a bricks for implementing these workflows. But there wasn't any single source of truth for user experience. There is a lot of ambiguity in building this experience. Designers and product managers either reuse an existing interface or build a new one, and developers then build accordingly. Finally, the test engineers only validates based on the prior experience and a spec. With the lack of central source of experience, each team makes its own experience and that brings inconsistency. Look at this example of an information model or a dialogue. We had multiple variants of these models but there was a no clear pattern around and it created a confusion among transporters. Model is just one example. There are 40 plus types of components and widgets used in the application. This brings the inconsistent transporter experience. When there is an inconsistency in the user experience, it creates a confusion. It also adds an extra time for transporter during the multiple operations, which eventually hurts the customer experience. When there are unhappy transporter, it tends to delay the deliveries, which makes our customers unhappy. To solve the inconsistency in the transporter experience, team between designers and engineers, we sat down to bring a solution and the rapid design system was built. We took another design system within Amazon as a baseline and modified it to cater to the transporter experience. 
This design system became a centralized source of guidance to increase the development efficiency, resulting in an improved consistency and a quality. This design system contained design principles, guides, components, and even patterns. Now let's understand how the team built this architecture. At the bottom most layer, we created a platform agnostic tokens. These tokens were core to RDS as we defined the tokens for mobile and auto. In the layer above, we transformed the tokens to a platform specific tokens. Finally, we built the components that can be used in the workflows directly. In this layer, we not only build the components like buttons or swipe buttons, we also built the compound components for patterns like button layout or model. This allowed the teams to focus on a business logic alone. Finally, a library that abstracts everything was built and it provided to a feature team to consume directly. With RDS as a single source of truth, UX designers, product managers, and engineers were able to align with each other and reduce any misunderstanding and inconsistency in between teams. This resulted in an improved production process and efficiency. Instead of each team building their own experiences, team just had to look at the patterns provided by RDS for different use cases and use inside their workflows. If we take the same slide on how these experiences were built earlier and replace with the usage of RDS, the process became pretty simpler. For simplicity, UX teams don't need to provide the red lines. Instead, they provide what RDS component to use and what details to pass. It means the development teams don't need to create a UX components, but just consume the one that are provided by the design system. It also became easier for engineers to focus on a business logic alone. This contributed to a consistency across the app and reduced UX delivery cost. Now let's understand how the RDS had bought consistency and a simplicity in a code as well. Let's take an example of buttons on Android. Prior to RDS, we had more than 20 plus variants of a button styles. Buttons needed to apply different style, colors, size. That was a primary cause of inconsistency across the board. With RDS, it was replaced with the simple code. No need to apply colors or size or style. Just pass the type of button and the rest will be taken based on the theme of the application. From the code point of view as well, we only needed to change the name of the component and the rest of the code remained the same. Similar thing was done on iOS as well to make it pretty simple. Now that we have looked at how the Rabbit design system bought the consistency in the transporter experience, there are still many challenges which we need to solve. We need to continue to innovate for the ever-expanding needs of last mile. This includes new mode of transportations like drones, scout, electric vehicles, and more. I hope you have enjoyed learning about last mile transporter experience and the Rabbit design system. If you are interested in checking out our open rules, feel free to check out our career page in the description below. Thank you.